Ever since 2008, Apple has offered the Mac Pro as their top-of-the-line performance computer. It's been four years since the latest cylindrical Mac Pro was released. Neglected because its controversial single-fan cooling system and restricted expandability went south with Pros. Apple has already confirmed a major refresh of the Mac Pro coming in 2018, but little is known about the next-generation desktop, which will likely require users to buy a display separately. If you want one as good as the recent 5K iMacs, it's going to cost upwards of $1,300 just for the screen alone. Now comes Apple's brand new iMac Pro, due to release in December. With technology advancing faster than ever before, Apple is finally able to equip an all-in-one iMac with some of the best computer components available, impressing with the ability to fit in such a small, impressive design. The most controversial piece of the equation with the iMac Pro is the price. Starting at $5,000 for the base model, it's definitely not cheap. But you need to remember that the iMac Pro is meant for the kind of user that actually needs that level of performance for 3D animations and rendering, VR content creation, and video editing. PCGamer.com decided to see if they could build a Windows PC comparable to the iMac Pro, and it came out to just under $4,700 just for the parts alone. Consumers looking to build an alternative PC would still have to build the whole computer by themselves and risk messing something up, or pay somebody else to do it for them. We've built many computers ourselves, and the process rarely goes without issues. There could be hours of troubleshooting and many cases of components arriving completely dead. And even then, it's still a Windows PC or a Linux box, not a Mac. With iMac Pro, everything should work exactly as intended, right out of the box, complete with Mac OS. And if it doesn't, Apple includes a one-year warranty with some of the best support around. Now let's move on to what makes the iMac Pro the beast that it is. First off, the included display is one of the best available on the market. With a 5K resolution and a P3 wide color gamut, it's truly awe-inspiring. This is the first time an iMac will get a processor with more than four cores. In fact, the base model comes with an eight core Intel Xeon processor. You can even configure it to an absolutely insane 18 cores, and the new Xeon line of processors can turbo boost up to 4.5 gigahertz. Turbo boost means that whenever thermal temperatures are down, the processor will actually overclock itself and push out more performance than rated. To make sure the temperatures stay down, Apple completely redesigned the cooling system with dual fans, a massive heatsink, and extra venting. This results in almost 75% more airflow and an 80% increase in system thermal capacity. This lets the iMac Pro handle 500 watts of power, 67% more than the previous iMac. The iMac Pro gets a top-of-the-line Radeon Pro Vega GPU, which is over three times faster than any previous iMac GPU, with up to 11 teraflops of single-precision performance and 16 gigabytes of HBM2 video memory that boasts 400 gigabytes per second transfer speeds. HBM2 is the latest tech in the video memory realm. It's still very expensive, and only a select few AMD video cards have adopted it. The base iMac Pro comes with four times more RAM than the latest base iMac, and it boasts faster speeds as well. It also has special ECC RAM, which is short for Error Correcting Code Memory, which works to stop errors and data loss. Also, for the first time ever, you can configure this iMac to a massive 128GB of RAM. The base iMac Pro also comes with 1TB of SSD storage, and it's the fastest storage you can get your hands on, with 3000MB per second speed. For comparison, a regular SSD drive comes in at only 500 megabytes per second. The previous iMac was able to get this 1TB SSD, but for an extra $700 over the 1TB Fusion drive. And for the first time ever, you can configure it to a 4TB SSD on an iMac Pro. Now let's talk about the ports. The iMac Pro comes with 4 Thunderbolt 3 ports. That's double the amount of the previous iMac, which was able to either connect one 5K display or two 4K displays on the side. With iMac Pro, you can now connect two 5K displays or four 4K displays. You can even hook up two RAID storage systems alongside two connected 5K displays. The iMac Pro also comes with a top-of-the-line 10 gigabit Ethernet port, compared to the 1 gigabit Ethernet port that came on previous Macs. It also comes with an SD card slot with UHS-2 support, which means triple the transfer speeds compared to the card slots that came in previous iMacs. The FaceTime camera in the iMac Pro is also upgraded to 1080p Full HD, compared to 720p Standard HD on the previous iMacs. The built-in stereo speakers have also been enhanced to deliver broad frequency response, rich bass, and even more volume. The iMac Pro is also getting four microphones, compared to just one on the previous iMac. The iMac Pro marks the first iMac to come in a space gray color, and it includes the new Magic Keyboard with a numeric keypad, as well as a choice of either the Magic Mouse 2 or Magic Trackpad like the iMac itself, all come in the new space gray color. Rumors have also sparked about the iMac Pro coming with a built-in A10 Fusion coprocessor. 
If this is true, then we can expect certain features like Hey Siri, Secure Boot, and even potentially native iOS apps to come to the iMac Pro. For more information on that, click the card above. We'll be getting our hands on an iMac Pro as soon as it's available, and the first thing we'll do is compare it to our fully specced out 2017 5K iMac. Make sure to subscribe to Apple Insider so you don't miss out on that video. Let us know which features excite you the most about the upcoming iMac Pro in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.